So I didn't want to do a voiceover on this. I wanted to actually share with you what I did off camera. As you can tell, it looks totally different. Um, basically what I did was I, I sanded it using an 80 grit uh, regular sander. And I also used an orbital, orbital sander to see if it made a better difference. Basically, I have a unwritten rule. Um, I do not paint wood. I will stain wood, but I will not paint wood. I think it just takes away from the beauty of wood. However, this is, in my case, is not wood. Um, this is like a melamine used good for shelves and whatnot, which it was before it got to this point. So this is uh, recycled wood. Technically, I was going to burn it, but uh, with the way wood prices are nowadays, um, I decided that I needed a projector uh, stand. So this basically takes the place of that, um, of doing it out of real wood. So basically, I, off camera, like I said, I sanded it. I put uh, holes in it. I ran to... Home Depot and I picked up these which will actually act as the uh, the knobs it's a, a bit of a pain to open it right now so I took uh, took a hole cutter or a, uh, sorry a hole cutter and uh, this is where the speakers go this track right here is where the subwoofer goes I actually I made two pieces that uh, went between so one would stop it from going forward one would stop it from going back however I don't know where I placed the one for the back um, off camera I had to wait two days for this thing to come in but uh, the door is open they open freely got a nice little creak in it but who really cares because it's pretty much scrap wood so I had to wait two days for this thing to come in. I needed a, um, I needed something that would actually hold this up, and the only thing I could think of is what I use on my cabinetry, which you can't really see it very well. So I'll tip this is basically one gas shock. Um, I was gonna put two in, but after I got that one up. I decided that uh, it's more of a hassle to get it up because I'm not 100% um, perfect on when I put them up. You can actually tell if you look close enough. And however I put it up, this thing's actually bent inward. But uh, since it is just for me, and this is not really going to be seen by anybody other than maybe you that's watching, I decided just to leave it. And it works great. It closes, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't pop back out. Um, I don't have, uh, I don't have too much I'm going to do off camera other than uh, I am using a, oh, let's see here. I bought this. It's uh, called Cryolon Fusion. It's satin black. This is what I'm going to use to paint this. Um, I should disclose, I'm not going to paint at all. Um, I'm actually going to leave this, this trim right here, or, uh, this veneer or whatever you want to call it. That's the reason why I didn't paint it or, uh, sorry, the reason why I didn't sand it, um, on the sides, I put, uh, regular wood in here. I'm actually going to tape all this up and then I'm going to spray over the top. That's one thing I'm not going to show on camera. And, uh, on the back, however, I am going to show what I'm going to do to this on camera. So if you stay tuned, uh, it will be right after I'm done talking on here. And then the music will start and uh, I won't voice it over. So other than that, I'm almost done. So the video is almost done. <laughs> I really hope you enjoy it. Um, thank you for watching. So I just wanted to give a final update on this. I got the knobs put in. Um, 
gas shock. You can't really see it from the camera, but subwoofer down below. It actually opens and closes pretty smoothly. Not these, however. Wow. Apparently these were... Apparently when the paint dried, they kind of stuck together. So, I got my initial speakers in there. And then, flip it on the side. You got the speakers that'll actually come out, so you can hear on the outside. And then all this is, this is a, um, a Pine Select from uh, Menards. And all I did was I cut it into strips and I put it as my backing. I figured it was the easiest way to use scrap wood. I got the uh, connectors coming out somehow. Cord. And that's about it. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do anything to the top or not. I might just put the uh, projector on here and then adjust the legs in accordance to the leveling aspect of it. I think it actually came out pretty good and uh, you know if I get sick of it someday. I don't know, I might just use it as like a, a speaker box or something like that. But uh, this was actually very easy to make. I didn't put it, I think the only thing I really put into it was like uh, uh, $3 for the knobs, $10 for the gas strut. Um, I can't link the knobs in the description. I might be able to find them on Home Depot and link them for you. Um, I'll link the gas strut in the description, uh, the Melamine, however you say it. Uh, you can usually find this stuff at any hardware store. I only used two of them, which uh, I believe they were about four feet. Um, select pine, any wood whatsoever. Hell, you can use um, plywood on the back if that's your, if that's your thing. But uh, I think this thing came out uh, remarkably well, and I hope you enjoy it. And I hope you have a wonderful day.